Reynolds Wolf here as we are talking about the moon being so big this week and it is the super moon. The super moon. Why you do know, I, I want to say that like I'm talking about Superman. Super well, moon. why wouldn't you? I mean, take a look at it. Can we show, show the shadow <laughs> over my shoulder? Yeah, there it is. Well, huh, how about it? It's Very the super nice. moon. 14% bigger is how it appears to the human eye uh, put, uh, according to other time, appear, uh, an opposite of other times of the year. The reason why is because this orbit brings it closer to Earth than any other time of the year. Last time it happened was March 19th of 2011. Okay. There are people that say that it makes things get kind of weird around the planet. It makes fish swim backwards. It makes no. leaves fall back onto the trees and all kinds of crazy stuff. The thing that we do know about it is that it does affect the tides. There's no question about it. There's actually some speculation that it actually may have affected the Titanic when it sank back in 1912. Really? Uh, to be honest well, with you, I think an iceberg had a bit more to do with it than the I, I'm thinking it was the iceberg, but whatever. Uh, when we look at these pictures, like this picture, this yes. is beautiful. How come in some of the pictures, is it brighter? Is it more orange, depending on where you are? The reason why it appears more of a, a bright orange it's color beautiful. like this one from last year, a spectacular picture is because of all the particulates you have in the atmosphere. A lot of the dust, a lot of the water vapor can be seen much better for us if it's lower in the horizon. As it goes up, it has less to, to filter it, so to speak, so it appears a bit smaller, it appears a bit brighter. It's always more fun to watch them when it's lower in the atmosphere.